Hello guys, Zul'jin here. Welcome to Mindscape. This is going to be a little introductory video to something that might eventually turn into a series. Uh, something that I'm probably going to be live streaming a little bit. It seems very interesting, although it's not real refined yet. I want to bring you through how to get started in Mindscape if you wish to do it. So Mindscape is a pretty much a Minecraft version of RuneScape, which is an old school MMORPG. Um, to get started, it's very simple. You go to multiplayer. It's all vanilla in 1.74 or 1.7.4, and this is the server right here. If you go to, if I go to edit, I'll show you the server address. It's play.gameslabs.net, and you just join the server, and you're gonna get dropped into a lobby. You'll have a few items in selection, but you can explore those for yourselves. I'm gonna show you just how to get straight into the point. If you left click on the compass, you'll have this menu that comes up in the top left selection, you'll have game section, and then you click the sword at the top left, which is Mindscape. You have two servers. I'm gonna go ahead and select the second one, but you could select either one. And you'll see on the right that I have all the Mindscape type strength levels, defense level, magic level, and at the bottom left, it's taking us through a tour. This is the tutorial, and this is where you will spawn. Before beginning your journey in Mindscape World, you will need to complete your first quest, but before that, let's talk about the game itself. Mindscape is fully coded by Skip, aka Scorpion3000, the owner of Games Labs. The map you're seeing was made by Podcrash. Mindscape was inspired by famous MMORPG RuneScape. If you haven't played the game, don't worry. Mindscape has a lot of things to do. You can, for example, do quests like this one. This quest will take you to discover the main mechanisms in Mindscape. Everything is different. Even mining a block is different from Minecraft. There are more than 200 unique mobs, 17 skills, and a lot of quests. The in-game chat is not global. You will only be able to hear close by players. Mindscape can handle thousands of players on the same map. Get ready for your epic Mindscape adventure. So here we are in like this little starting section and we really don't know what to do. The easiest thing to do here, you'll see speak to Bob first before you go any further. So we have to find Bob. Bob is usually right outside here. There's Bob. If you right click on Bob, Bob will talk to you. Hey, and welcome to Mindscape. Before showing you my favorite skill, I would like to see some quest features with you. Ever wanted to join a private alpha release of our games? Purchase, <laughs> that's not what Bob says. I'm just trolling. Okay, so you right click him again and he talks to you again. Let's start with some basic interaction. In certain quests, you will be asked to provide an answer. It will be given either yes, left clicking, or no, right clicking. Huh. Okay, you can right click them again to continue speaking. Did you get what I say? And so basically, he's asking you to perform a yes or no. So we're gonna left click and say yes. Huh. Good. Now let's continue with the woodcutting skill. <laughs> so we'll right click again to speak to him. Here, take this bronze huh. axe and cut down a tree. I will tell you what to do next after. Okay, so I guess we need to cut down a tree. Here's the tree. We'll start by holding left click on one of the wood. So there you go. It, it mines some wood and as you can see in the bar, it just gave me an oak wood. Now you can continue to do this. As you can see, the block changes and it respawns pretty quickly. This is, I think this is due to the speed in Tutorial Island. But let's go ahead and talk to Bob since we've got a couple blocks of wood now. Hey Bob, I got the wood. All right, let's continue with the farm making skill. Type slash H to check your XP. So we can type slash H, and that is gonna bring up this menu. Oh, that's cool. So mining is currently level one, farm making, wood cutting, herbalism, forming, strength, defense, cooking, smithing, fishing, ranged, companion, questing, agility, prayer, rune crafting, magic, crafting and potion making so that's pretty broad all right so we got xp down here take this item right click on the ground with it you'll make fire this requires one piece of wood so we got two so we should be good let's just right click the ground Ooh. no it wasn't burning <laughs> there you go you got it you can now talk to john he's near the fishing spot okay so i happen to not be burning even though the animation was told let's head down to the fishing spot this guy's going crazy with fire all right, so if we walk down here a little bit, we'll get to the fishing spot. And it looks like John is waiting to speak to us there. Let's right click on John. Hey, I'm a pro fisher. Here, take this fishing net. Right 
click some water to catch a fish. So we got a spider web that is apparently a fishing net. So we right click the water and we got a fish. Great, there you go. All right, now let's talk about the forming skill. Okay, let's talk about it. No, that's merchant. Here, John, talk to me. Hey, could you break some melons with your hand? You will be able to eat them. All right, that's a melon there. Cool, we got melon. Next, what do you got, John? Challenge me. There you go. You can now talk to Robert. He's in the next building. All right, so this actually took me a little while to figure out my first go round. If we go all the way around here, it's going to take us to the next building eventually. Rule of thumb is pretty much if you don't know where to go in Tutorial Island, just follow the road. If you get to a house and you don't know where to go, continue through the house until you see an exit. <laughs> That's how I did it. So let's see, it looks to me like this is not a, the road. We've got to continue up this way. And it should take us right into the next building. Yeah, I should have, I could have actually taken a shortcut earlier. Let's cut through the flowers here. Very good. All right. There's a merchant and Robert. Hey, welcome to my kitchen. I would like to show you how to cook some food. Well, I know how to cook, but let's let's talk anyway. Here, take this raw chicken. First of all, make a fire, then right click on the fire, and then finally click on the cooked chicken in the GUI. Okay? So, let's make a fire, and then we'll right click the fire. Oh, and click click cook chicken. All right, we got cooked chicken. Great. You got it. Eating food will make you recover some health. Now you can go talk to Jordan. He's in the next building. All right, so let's go to the next building. As you can see, guys, this is pretty in-depth. There's a lot of mechanics going on here that's really, really cool. Uh, the one thing about MMOs is it's pretty grindy, but from what I can tell, I used to play a lot of Ultima Online, and I think RuneScape was very similar when it came to um, skill-based learning, which means Basically, if you use something enough, you'll get better at it, which makes a lot of sense, and I kind of like that. Okay, so we're almost at the next house here, and we should be able to talk to the next guy. Jordan. Okay, hey, Jordan. Hey, my name is Jordan. I'm your next guide. Sweet. You will now discover some advanced skills in the incoming mine. Please go down the ladder and talk to Ulrich. Okay, so we'll talk to Ulrich. I gotta be careful. I don't want to die. Just speed it up. Okay, where is Ulrich? I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but I'm using Faith. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm using Sortex Fanbear. Uh, let's see. There's Ulrich. Hey, my name's Ulrich, and I'm a pro miner. So you are. I'm here to present you with the main features of mining and smithing skill. Here, take this bronze pickaxe and mine some tin, the black ore. Okay, so apparently the coal texture is tin. Uh, mining cancelled, okay. Maybe I should start clicking again. Ah, there we go. Great, now you can do the same thing for the other ore. Uh, which I guess is the red ore. There we go. So it changes, the black texture changes once you mine it. So let's talk to Ulrich again. In Mindscape, in order to make tools or weapons, you will need to smelt some, tin some ores into bores. Click the furnace and then smelting on the smelting. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's say this again. In order to make, you will need mine. You will need to smelt the ores into bores. Click the furnace. Then on the smelting screen, click the bronze bore. Okay. So let's click the furnace. And here's the smelting screen. And this is the bronze bore, which looks like a brick. You did it. All right. Now click on the anvil and make a bronze dagger for me, please. So we got a bronze bore. Let's click the anvil. And ah, here we go. Smith bronze items. So these are all the different levels of items. So we'll smith a bronze dagger. Here we go. Required level 1, required bores 1, XP earned 12. For attack power. Great. Voila. If you have more questions. <laughs> If you have more questions about this skill or any other one, you can ask the players and some guides or some guides in town. Now you can talk to Merrick. So Merrick is the next guy and he is a little bit further in the mine. Let's actually grab one more of these ores and one more of these. And there is another item that we can make pretty quickly. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and... 
We'll go to smelt. Okay, so now we got another bronze bar. And we'll go to bronze items and we can actually click the bronze helm. So now we got a bronze helm. So that's just a little bonus. Let's go ahead and equip that. Bam! We got the helmet on. Oh, do we? Protection 5. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, from this area, we'll go down this cavern here. And a little bit further in, we'll see this little dungeon area coming up here. And Merrick should be right around the corner. Let's talk to Merrick. Hey, I'm Merrick, the Dragon Escape Survivor. I'm here to show you the main combat system, including one attack and one defense skills. Okay, great. Let's begin with the mobs. Most of the monsters are neutral. They will only attack you if their strength depends on their level. Uh, Alright, use your bronze dagger to kill a rat. Alright, we can definitely kill a rat. This is a bronze dagger. Uh, he is killing a rat right there. Let's kill this one. This guy's trying to, to help me kill it, I guess. Alright, okay, and this is the loot screen. So anytime you kill something, this screen pops up. If there's any loot available, it'll be in a bar above this actual bar. Great! See, it wasn't that hard. You will earn strength XP each hit and defense XP every time a monster hurts you. Okay, cool. Let's talk to Merrick again. You can now talk to Steve. He's in the bank. Take the ladder and follow the path. So we'll go down this way and there's a large ladder there and that should take us pretty much straight to the bank. I like this wide ladder. <laughs> So when we surface up top, there'll be a little path that we can follow. And this will take us directly to the next area with the bank and Steve. They do make you run around a little bit for this tutorial island, but it kind of gets you used to the scenery and how everything looks. And if we go in here, Steve will be lurking around. Hey, I'm Steve. Making money in Mindscape is very important. But before that, storing the money is even more important. <laughs> Fair enough. In almost every town, you will be able to store your valuables in a bank. You can stack items in it. This step is quite easy. Look, click the banker next to me. All right, let's click the banker. So this is act just like an ender chest. And if I had items, typically those wood piles that I was getting earlier from the tree and the ores do not stack. But in an ender chest, you can stack them. So fair enough, we got that down. Let's talk to Steve again. You can now talk to George. He's in the church. So we have to go a little bit further down and get into the church. All right, and it looks like there's a merchant here and yeah, there's George. Hey, George. Hey, I'm George. I'm here to show you the base of magic skill. Sweet. Take this staff, right click with it, and then select home teleport. After that, left click. Okay, so there's a staff in our inventory. Let's go ahead and take this bronze sword. We can't use that yet. And we'll right click, and there's two airstrike, and home teleport. Okay, so we'll click home teleport. And then we pull out and then hit left click. Easy, right? In order to use magic spells, you will need magic runes. Those can be bought or obtained by going to the Rune Essence Mine. Okay, fair enough. In this mine, you will be able to get Rune Essence. You will then need to find an altar and convert it to get a magic rune. You can also get runes from enemies, by the way. Arbury, my good friend is waiting for you in Al Karid. Find him to go to the Rune Essence Mine. So Al Karid's another town that we're going to have to find eventually. That's pretty much what I needed to say about this awesome skill. You will unlock more spells by leveling up. You can now talk with Albert. He's in the next building. Alright, so the next building is going to be right outside the church. When I say right outside, it's actually up the road a little bit. Alright, here we are at the next building. Hey, Albert. Hey, I'm Albert. I'm here to present you my favorite skill, archery. Okay? In Mindscape, you can use different bows and different arrows. You can even combine the types to do different damages. Okay. Here, take this bow. Here, take these arrows. Now try to shoot an arrow. Okay, so we got a bow and arrow in our inventory. 
Let's go ahead and put the fish away. We'll take the bronze bow, right click and shoot an arrow. Pretty much relatively the same as archery. Well, there's pretty much you need to know. <laughs> All you need to know. If you have more questions, feel free to ask them to some players. You can also find some guys in towns. All right. So let's click him again. And well, that's pretty much it, what you need to know. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it, guys. That is the tutorial island. And from here, if I right click, um, left click on my staff, it has this little animation. And it teleports us to general population. <laughs> I guess that's what you call it. This is the open world of Mindscape and there's plenty more to explore. If you guys liked what you saw, if this is something that you'd like to see more of, let me know in the comments. I think this is something that I might LP, although I might stream a little bit. I have a couple of friends that are kind of interested in playing, and um, after I saw a couple of videos for this, I figured that it would be pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think, and um, and that's it. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. This is Uljin signing off. Have a good one.